This week, we're talking about migrating, streaming, and generating insights with your data on BigQuery. I am Priyanka, and welcome to This Week in Cloud, where we serve you the lowest latency news. Traditional data warehouses can be expensive and difficult to maintain as data rapidly increases in volume, velocity, and variety. We know that businesses are turning to BigQuery to keep up, so we've put together a quick guide on how to start your migration plan. Get prepared by creating a migration plan and then going through the full data warehouse migration guide. Storing data in cloud storage helps you not only keep your files accessible and secure, but also gets them ready for real-time analysis. By using Cloud Functions, you can run code every time a file is uploaded and stream the data into BigQuery. Follow along and try it out for yourself in the solution guide. Now that you can move more data to BigQuery, we're also making it easier to work with your data using persistent user-defined functions. Felipe has another great post detailing out how to create and share UDFs across your organization. Check out the details to create your own or use the ones that Felipe has shared. Looking for some more guided practice with BigQuery? Well, enroll in From Data to Insights with GCP specialization on Coursera. You'll learn how to query and process petabytes of data on BigQuery. It's got interactive scenarios and hands-on labs to give you meaningful practice at skills that have never been more relevant. Enroll today. If you want to read more about these announcements or see a full list, check out the link. Have any thoughts or ideas? Leave us a comment or tweet us. We'll see you in the cloud.